Good morning, Mr. Fuck time? Fuquan. Oh, I'm sorry. Fuquan Green, Brooklyn Best Style Till I Die. My apologies, there was a T in your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the T is quiet and shit like shh. You mean silent? Yeah, silent, quiet, okay. same well, anyways, thing. I'm Dr. Do Good. Dr. Do Good, huh? <laughs> Well, what you do good, shit. Excuse me? I mean, you said your name was Dr. Do Good. I'm just assuming you be doing shit good. How about we get into what you came in here for today? I mean, I got a problem, but it ain't really a problem, but it's a problem. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, tell me about your problem, Mr. Green. The problem is I can't stop calling women bitches. Okay, so you have an issue with calling women bitches. Okay, yeah. so let's try to figure out when did this issue start? I mean, well, you know, I kind of look at it like, you know, it, it ain't really no big thing to me. It's like a, you know, like a term of endorsement and shit, you know? You mean a term of endearment? Are you confused? Nah, I, I, ain't, I ain't confused. I just, you know, I feel like you fucking with me a little bit. But yeah, you know, a, a term of endearment. You know, that's that's what I meant, I guess. No, Mr. Green, I'm not fucking with you. I'm simply trying to get to the root of why you have an issue with calling women bitches. bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about your parents? My, my pops, you know what I'm saying, he was a pimp. You know what I mean? And my mom, you know, she was kind of like the, like the assistant pimp and shit. You know what I'm saying? My pops, you know what I'm saying? They they called him Go Getter. You know what I'm saying? But his real name was Clyde Green. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They called my mom Toots. You know what I'm saying? Toots. Yeah. You know, and even though, you know, my mom's was married to my pops, she kind of had a thing for bit. She kind of had a thing for women. You know what I'm saying? You know, chicks and such. Okay, Mr. Green. So you said that your dad was a pimp? Could you tell me a little bit more about this family business i mean well yeah you know as i stated you know what i'm saying my mom's you know she had to give the gab you know everybody loved toots you know what i'm saying so she had a way of finessing the girls and getting them to come back to the crib you know what i'm saying so that's kind of how things really started you know what i'm saying with the fashaze toise and all of that going on going on fashaze toise yeah fashaze toise you know when when three people you know get busy the fashaze toise so you witnessed all of this as a child? I mean, yo, Doc, you know what I'm saying? When you growing up in the projects, you know, hood kids, we see a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? As a shorty, I saw a lot of shit. You know, one time I saw a crackhead pick a pigeon up off the street and eat that motherfucker alive. You saw him eat the pigeon alive? All the way down to the ass. You confused? Confused? No. Gross out? Absolutely. Word. I mean, so you could see how that type of shit could have a shorty like me, like, tranquilized. You know what I'm saying? You mean traumatized? You keep correcting my words and shit, Doc. It's like, you know, I, don't, I feel like you trying to call a nigga dumb. Uh, well, Mr. Green, we have about 40 more minutes to your session, so let's go ahead and dive in to your childhood some more. Aight, so boom. So check it. So like I said, moms and pops, they was tripping and shit, you know what I'm saying? Getting bitches back to the crib and all that type of stuff and shit was just wild.